So one of my viewers asked a question about the best 4K monitor for Lightroom. I'm going to answer the question, but in, in a more general way in relation to monitors for photography generally, because what's that, whatever's good for Lightroom is going to be good for other software. Now they said that it had to be a 32 inch 4K monitor, color accurate. Let's talk first about color accuracy. There are two types of color accuracy, or rather two phases to color accuracy. When a monitor leaves the factory, it can be color calibrated and color accurate, uh, like ones for photographers. And we would say it's factory calibrated to a certain level or a um, certain level of accuracy, like um, Delta E of less than two, or color accurate out of the box. Or it can be just another consumer monitor, no guarantee of color accuracy. When a monitor is in your home or office, accuracy is a different matter. It's by means of a calibrator. Now, there used to be quite a number of different models of uh, monitor calibrators, but the range has declined in recent years. You get one of these and you use it regularly to maintain color accuracy over the lifespan of a monitor because the colors will generally shift over the course of weeks and months. And you can even use calibrators to uh, get some consumer monitors to display accurate colors. Now, you wanted a recommendation between three monitors, a Dell, a Samsung, and a Philips. We can dismiss the Dell quite quickly because I know nothing about it and have very little knowledge about the S line of monitors from Dell. Dell do have a photographer focused line called the ultra sharp monitors. These have features that are highly marketable to photographers, such as color accuracy out of the box and great ergonomics. And some have the ability to pivot to portrait for portrait editing. Now, probably these will be outside the $500, 500 pound range that you wanted. The Samsung J590U is something of a bit of a legend. It has been around for a few years, got rave reviews initially when it came out, and some guys even calibrated it and got some pretty awesome results. It's not a photography monitor and not marketed as one, but the basic specs from Samsung are pretty compelling for uh, about £300 or $350 uh, for, for a 4K monitor. It's currently £229 in some places. I'll have a link in the description. You find it difficult to get much better quality than that uh, at that price. Now, let's come to the Philips. The Philips is one that I would recommend. The specs for the Philips monitor are fairly impressive. Color accurate out of the box, a wide color gamut, and it is vase mountable. It's a pretty straightforward recommend if you like the curved design. However, note that that might not work very well in portrait mode if you're using it on a vase mount. Now, interesting note to finish off with, Philips have actually got a professional line of similar monitors with pretty good specs, much better build quality too, something a bit more similar, similar to the Dell UltraSharp monitors. Uh, they're building up their capability in this sector of the market, and it's nice to see some affordable competition in the 4K spectrum. So that is my uh, recommendation. I hope you liked that one and I hope you found that useful. See you in the next video.